hi guys how are hey. you congratulations the movie is finally coming out how are you feeling about all that super yeah. excited are you excited well and jose this is your first movie right so are you super this is your first feature right jose first my first feature uh lead in the feature too so i feel pretty good i was gonna say how are you feeling about the world gonna be seeing you on everywhere how does that feel i feel pretty good i got naked in it so what can go wrong you know <laughs> so okay so swallowed the two of you are basically are our, our, our stars and i wanted to hear more about what how the two of you got involved with carter in this project maybe um cooper starting with you and how you got involved yeah, so um, Carter and I met in New York, I want to say in like 2016 or 2017 or somewhere around there. He, we were like in, friends on Instagram when I had Instagram. And we like always, uh, we we connected and then there were like a couple over the years, there was like a couple projects that, you know, I, I was up for this movie that he did for Hulu. It was like part of that Into the Dark anthology mm -hmm. series I was up for for a role in that film with him and then almost got like a music video with him or something so we had like there have been a couple things that had come my way that like hadn't end up ultimately working out and then I got the script for Swallowed uh in like the spring right before summer of what was it 2021 summer 2021 um and I read it and I knew it was Carter and like I was like is this gonna be the one and that we finally get to do and you know it was obviously it's obviously such a crazy script and I loved it and I was terrified of it and I taped for it and then then we had a little meeting and then he gave me the part so yeah Jose what about you I've seen I've seen the story on Instagram from Carter but I want to hear from you <laughs> Carter, me and Carter met uh, a friend, a friend of mine, an agent. He introduced uh, me to Carter when I was moving to LA. I've been in LA for like three years, I think. And uh, I shot with Carter for all the Dead Boys. And um, he told me he was working on a script, and he didn't really tell me he had me in mind until like six months later after shooting with him. And uh, I just sent him a few tapes randomly, and um, he was sort of carving his character around uh, when we first met. And, yeah, I, that's sort of like how that this whole thing happened. I got really lucky. Cool. And so you the two of you have such an incredibly electric chemistry in this movie. And so how did y'all like when you guys met for the first time, like how did you approach building this these relationships and like the chemistry is so genuine between the two of you in this movie? I love your masks on your wall, by the way. Oh, thank you. Because they're very fun. Um we we got to Maine um a week before we started shooting so and it was just me and Jose so we kind of like just got to hang out for like a week oh. and get to know each other and we drove around and like listened to music and we he helped helped me with some self-tapes we like watched some movies we made dinner we drank we smoked we just like kind of developed a friendship in like a week and really got to know each other and you know talked about the characters and talked about their you know history and um yeah we just kind of like really we had a lot of time to to connect and to be together because we didn't have anything to do we were just like in Maine together <laughs> for a week yeah because well, it was oh what sorry that was my first time in Maine well and you guys were in like the middle of nowhere right like you there yeah. was not a lot to do and you were basically camping right for the, second, the entire shoot so the second two once we once we had got to the um once we got to the cabin where uh like after after we open the gate and like get to the cabin and stuff that's when we were staying like upstate and we were in the okay. middle of nowhere before like when we shot the um the beginning like in the club and at the rest stop and stuff that we were staying in carter's um carter's house okay. um, which was like a little bit less remote still pretty remote but less so cool yeah. and okay so 
Jose, you have a couple scenes slash a lot of scenes that involve you being naked and with certain things, being in certain places. And, you know, we don't spoil it for anybody, but if you've watched the trailer, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. What was that? Like, what was that vibe like on set in shooting these moments, especially the the long scene in the cabin where we have Mark Patton in, in, this, in, the, in the picture, basically? I wanted to hear Jose a little bit from you about that experience. Um, you know, it might look kind of sexy, but really it was like, it was way more comfortable. It, it, it was, there was a lot of respect on set. And, um, yeah. and by the time I meet Mark Patton in the movie, it, he's pretty scary, you know? Um, Mark Patton's a, he's a legend and, uh, yeah, I, th I think the whole experience was, uh, really, really a gift. Yeah. Uh, and then Cooper, what about you? Because you also have some really incredible moments with Mark Patton, like, and and it's just so tense and terrifying. And so, what was that like for you to get to work opposite him in these really like the whole thing feels so dangerous? Um, yeah, it was definitely. You know, I think something that was really interesting that I took away from it was that that filled me kind of with a lot of gratitude was. Um, you know, he, when he was my age or when he was younger and he did um, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, his whole, like, he was, he was shamed for, for portraying, like, someone who's gay and he kind of yeah. got shunned from, from Hollywood and he has his whole um, uh, documentary, Scream Queen, where he talks about it all. Um, but it was so beautiful to kind of, like, have him be there for, you know, me being on on screen as a, like a gay actor and in a queer role and nor and having it be normalized, you know, and not yeah. have it be such a kind of a big deal and get shamed and, you know, all that horrible stuff that happened to yeah. him. So I think it was it was really special to kind of have him there and have him get to be um, um, there with me. So that's yeah. amazing. Well, okay, so you, it, this is obviously a very queer movie and I love it because it's queer horror, it's gross, it's a different kind of queer horror than I think we've ever seen before and I love Carter for that. And I guess, especially Cooper, like what does this mean for you to be in a movie like this, in a role like this? Like it's so cool and gay and gross and I, I wonder if you feel the same way and like how you feel being a part of something like this, especially after being in another more mainstream queer kind of focused horror film last year with They Slash Them. Yeah, uh, they slash them is like very poignantly about being queer and like about the queer experience and coming yeah. out, not wanting to be gay and like coming to terms with your sexuality, which is like great. And I love and I'm all for that, too. But what's different and so special about Swallowed is that it's not necessarily like about sexuality. It's not about being yeah. it's not about the queer experience. It's not about coming out or being gay or anything like that it's like it's it's a journey and it's a love story like and it's about unrequited yeah. love and it's about survival and like I love that it's yeah it's just kind of normalizes it it just so happens that the character's gay like it it's not yeah. a necessarily that's not the like that's not the point of it so I, I think that's that's really special and I really want to see more films like that in not just the horror genre, but like all the all the genres. So. Yeah. So are the two of you horror fans outside of being in horror films? Jose, are you a horror fan? Um yes. Yeah, I'm not like a big, big horror fan, but uh okay. like horror movies. Yeah. In horror movies? Okay. And Cooper, what about you? I'm not also like a huge fan, but okay. I like I'm watch I'm I've watched the first two episodes of Last of Us. Okay. Um, and I have to watch it with my brother because like I'm too like I can't watch alone. I'm too scared. Um, <laughs> but scared. I'm like like I loved Amer like I loved American Horror Story. Like I like oh, yeah. I loved Pearl this year. Um, just nothing like too like I'll see the movies, but I'm not like a huge like I do get scared. Like I close my eyes. I'm like a. <laughs> I respect that though. Do you remember the first horror movie either of you ever saw? 
Jose, do you remember the first horror movie you ever saw? Um, yo, I, I want to say The Ring. Oh, really? The Ring, and that one messed me up for a few days. Yeah. Do you remember how old you were? I don't, but I also like The Lost Boys. Uh, I would oh, The Lost Boys. Yeah. So, and um, yeah, those two. Cool. And then Cooper, what about you? I don't know if it was Final Destination, but I'm just going to say that because I okay. think it was when I, I think I was in like sixth grade or seventh grade. Oh, wow. And it really fucked me up. Really we're talking late. We're talking later. I know. You and I are talking about that later. I know. We're talking excited. about that later. I was like, <laughs> that's why I was like, do I have another answer? Um, oh, no. It's yeah. Amazing. Wait, okay, so the two of you said that you hung out for a week and like were watching movies and showing each other stuff and getting to know each other. Was there a movie that you showed the other person or a piece of music that the other person had never seen or heard before that you were really excited to show them? We watched um, the, the Ruins together? Or... We watched The Ruins together because that's Carter's movie and Jenna's in it. And Jamie Morris is dead. We watched that one too. Oh, right. We watched both of those. Yeah. We watched How did you, have you seen, had either of you seen The Ruins before? No. No, what did you think? You were really scared. It was really scary. It's gross. Yeah, really nasty and just like, oh yeah, it was it was really good though. We really loved it. We had a great time. Um and then Jose, I think, showed me there was like a song that you there was a bony bear song or like a song that you gave me that then ended up being like my Benjamin Benjamin and Dom song that like I played while like it it became special to me and like then I used it when I when he was dying and like I was playing it before like in between takes while he was dying and um, I can't remember what the song oh my was. god I you think it's a Bony Bear song though that you gave that you played for me and then that was like our song what's no, it yeah, that was, is really romantic. I was gonna say, where's the playlist? Drop the Spotify playlist. Um, I have Benji. the Spotify playlist. It's just called Benji. I could send it to you. What's uh? What is the? I say was the Bony Bear song. What other songs are on this list? I I need to know. Well, obviously the main song, oh, best song. But yeah, that and then I don't know. Yeah, just some other stuff that just felt like. Oh, here it is, Ben. Um, Narcisco. Amazing. Um, I have some Moses Sumney, some Alexi Murdoch. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. I think ben, Benji and I have a very similar taste in music. Tony Bear Stacks. Re- oh, oh my God. That would, that's an incredible song. And also, wow, what a sad song to have. Yeah, like, I think that playing. was the song that you, that you, um, played for me, Jose. Well, Thank you, Cooper and Jose, for talking with me today about Swallowed. This has been incredible. And everyone Swallowed is out on February 14th. 